Hey guys, it's time to take a look at the Android Oreo look for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 or pretty much any other Android phone that is running uh, Android software above Android Lollipop. So I made a similar video a couple of months ago talking about how you can get the same look uh, on the Galaxy S8 Plus like the Pixel. So uh, now they have updated the launcher according to the new Pixel 2 phone. So the Pixel 2 phone, the UI has changed a little bit. So they have updated the launcher and uh, you can install it. The link will be down below in the description. You can download it straight from your phone. And before doing that, you have to go into the settings, go into lock screen and security and here you will find the option called as unknown sources so make sure it is checked because otherwise it won't allow you to install apps from other sources other than Play Store so that's the only thing you have to do before installing this and you might be saying why do you need to install this so first thing first even if you get the official Android O update or Android or you update on your Galaxy Note 8 or S8 you won't be getting the stock look uh, like the Pixel phones because Samsung always have uh, their skin on top of Android so it will have touch with UI you will get that same kind of Samsung look look but with Android Oreo features. So to get that stock pure Android look you always have to rely on a custom launcher and that's the beauty of Android because you can literally do anything you want with your Android phone. All right, let's talk about this new Pixel launcher uh, based on the Pixel 2 UI. With the new Pixel phone, the Google search widget has gone all the way to the bottom so, so that you can easily reach it because the new Pixel phones have uh, the Excel model particularly has this uh, less bezel. So because of the big size, you can just easily uh, reach the, uh, the widget. So you can start typing and start searching. And then of course uh, we have this little arrow which is an indication of the app drawer so you can swipe up to go to your app drawer and access all your applications on top it shows you some app suggestions and then you have your list of applications and of course it is in alphabetical order so A, C, and then D and so on. You can go ahead and drag any application from your app drawer and put it anywhere on your home screen so there is no restriction whatsoever or you can just quickly uninstall it or remove it from the home screen. It also offers a couple of shortcuts uh, with certain applications such as uh, we do it on the YouTube, we get this trending uh, subscription and search tab. Same thing with the Twitter, scan QR code, new message, new tweet. So these shortcuts appear with certain applications, doesn't work on Instagram or Facebook, but of course with Android Oreo, you will get notification dots and all that stuff. You also have this new bounce animation when you swipe all the way to the down side of your app door. So you can see here, Nice animation there. Also get at a glance widget on top of your home screen. So currently it shows me the day or the calendar information. So if I click on it, it will take me to my calendar. And here I can set calendar, event, uh, whatever I want to do at that specific date. And of course, when you hold on the display, it also gives you three options for the wallpaper, widgets, and home settings. So home settings is the settings for this launcher. So it's a really straightforward launcher. I mean, a lot of people, they don't really want to do that much customization. I mean, there are launchers out there that give you kind of like stock look like Nova launcher, but they allow you to have a lot of customization. But this is really simple stock pixel launcher like a pixel phone have. So uh, you can see on top we have at a glance uh, widget settings. So currently it supports the calendar events. And then of course the traffic information. So there's just only two things right now. We do have the display Google app, which display the Google application setup or home setup to the left of the main home screen. So it doesn't work on my Note 8, but if you have any other phone, you can try it out. Uh, for me, I don't really care about that because I do have this Google search widget at the bottom. And of course I can access uh, my Google Assistant by holding on to uh, this uh, home button. And of course I do have the Bixby voice assistant so I can access that by pressing this uh, Bixby key dedicated for that. I can also turn it off if I want to and uh, I can just say, hi Bixby. What's the weather in Lahore? Today we have sunshine with a few clouds. So everything works great. This launcher will not gonna affect your Bixby stuff. So going to home settings again, as you can see, we have the app suggestions, which I showed you previously, you can turn it off. Of course, it allows the home screen rotation so you can rotate your phone and the uh, display will also rotate all your applications will go at the end and it works fine no problem no glitch whatsoever you can also check out your widgets all your app widgets are here make multiple home screen by 
pressing an application to your home screen and move it to the side and as you can see you can make multiple home screens and you can manage them from here you can hold on to certain home screen move it around and if you move the application from that home screen to the other if there's no application then it will get deleted so as you can see now i have only two home screen we also have wallpaper so this is of course connected to the default google wallpaper application so you have to have that wallpaper application from the play store you can download it it's free and it contains all the stock uh google wallpapers as well as on device wallpapers so if you have some wallpapers on your phone you want to have as your wallpaper home screen wallpaper then you can do that as well and then of course we have uh, lots of other wallpapers uh, from google like it is on the pixel phone earth cityscape textures solid colors and of course you do have the option to set different wallpapers for your lock screen and the home screen so yeah guys this is how you can get the pure android experience like the new pixel 2 phones on your android phone running android lollipop or above and uh, as you can see i've just showed you how it looks on my samsung galaxy note 8 and again it's a very simple launcher uh not tons of customization some people like it some people don't i personally like to have you know minimal things i don't customize heavily so this launcher you know has everything set up automatically like the widget is at the end you don't have to install any other third-party stuff to do that just looks same as the pixel 2's ui and like i said even if you do get the official android or you update you're not gonna get this look uh, you always have to rely on the launchers because Samsung will have their own skin on top of Android Oreo. So yeah, hopefully the Oreo will arrive at the end of this year. Uh, and uh, hopefully the Note 8 will be the first one to get it. And uh, yeah, give this launcher a try. Let me know what device you have and what experience you are getting from this launcher. Again, links will be down below in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.